How's it going everyone? In this video, we're gonna get into changing out the rear brakes on this H2 Hummer. Before we do that, we wanna start out the right way. Place something in the front so that the wheels won't move and make sure that your jack is placed in the proper position. Here are the tools that we'll be using to complete this process. We have a set of brakes that I ordered from O'Reilly and these are the ceramic brakes for the H2 Hummer. They come in a set, and this set includes the hardware tools and a set of four brake pads. To remove the old brake pads, I'll be using a T55 bit, hammer, flathead screwdriver, brake compressor tool, and an air torque gun. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'll be removing the tire so that I can get to the brakes. Take your T55 bit tool, and on the back side of the caliber, there are two pins and screws you'll need to remove, one at the top and one at the bottom. In order to do so, your pins may be stuck and stiff, so you'll need some type of breaking tool to break the screw. Once you do that, then you can proceed with the air torque gun or any other drill to remove the screws. Once you take them out, you'll have two, You'll just need to just place those to the side. Next, we want to go ahead and place something at the bottom to catch the caliber. Take your hammer and pry it from top to bottom. Take your time because some brake calipers may be more difficult to remove than others. Once you have it pried enough to remove it, take your caliper and place it on top of the box or crate and remove your old brake pads. Take your flathead screwdriver and remove your hardware clips. You have one at the top and you have one at the bottom. When you remove them, you'll notice that there's a wide side and a smaller side. The wide side is always on the inside and the smaller side is always on the outside. So once you remove them, just place them and sit them out the way. When installing the hardware clips, you will feel the snap. So once you place them into the seated area, you just want to clamp them in. Just make sure they're snapped in properly. Now we can proceed to our brake caliper compressing tool. Before we do that, you want to go underneath your hood and you want to make sure that you remove the top to your brake fluid reservoir. After compressing your calipers, you want to avoid the pressure and the overflow buildup. What I'll be using is a bottle and a washer pump fluid to drain the extra fluid. With that being said, we can now start compressing our brake caliper. And what you want to do is start left to right. Try to avoid compressing them both at the same time. You want to keep going all the way until you get it down to its lowest point and then you swap over to the other side. Take your time while you're doing this because you don't want to mess up anything in your brake line. Now that we have the brake calipers compressed all the way to the bottom, now we can proceed to installing our brakes. What you want to do is make sure that you have the same setup as you took it off. You got these pins right here and what they do is pretty much alert you that your brakes are low. So you want to go ahead and start at an angle. It doesn't matter if you want to go with the inside or outside, but start at an angle. Once you get it in there, you just press it down. The other side, you'll do the same. Angle it in, clamp it down, and squeeze them together. Next step, we'll go ahead and start adding our brake grease to our two pins. Now some people, they like to add some of the grease to the outside of the brake caliber. With these being ceramic, you don't actually need it, but you can. With the pins, add it to the smooth side, not the threads. Once you've completed that step, you can go ahead and place your brake caliber over your brakes. When you align your caliper, make sure that that rubber piece is aligned with this hole. If not, you'll have trouble installing these calipers back onto the brakes. The 
and you can tighten everything down back to its normal state. Now that you have everything tightened down, give your brakes a check. If you have a little wiggle, that's fine because it's normal. Now you're all set to place your tire back on. Thank you for checking out this video. And if you haven't already done so, please feel free to subscribe.